Hi there. This is Dr. John Whitcomb with News and Nutrition talking about what's the deadly deal of deadly nightshade. Now, I've got a lot of it in my fence line. Little blackberries, little purple flowers I dig out every year. And My mother told me never eat those little berries. They're deadly dangerous for you. But nightshades are a whole lot more than that. Nightshade family are basically a lot of new world vegetables. And let me tell you, here's some examples of how dangerous they can be. Did you know, for example, that you take some tomato leaves or potato leaves and put them in a salad? I can arrange for you a nice visit to an ER for lots of hallucinations because of the nightshades in the leaves of those plants. And everybody knows that you can't eat a potato skin if it's green. And you're meant to cut the eyes out of potatoes because they've got nightshades. But there's actually a whole lot more nuance to nightshades. The nightshade families are plants that are essentially new world plants that we never evolved with. Humans evolved in Africa eating green plants from Africa. We came out of Africa 100,000, 200,000 years ago in several different waves. And it was only 7,000 years ago that we became farmers in the Middle East growing wheat and we're still getting over some of our sensitivities to wheat. But nightshades were new world of foods that Europeans didn't discover till 1492 when Columbus sailed the ocean blue. And for those of us with autoimmune sensitivity, the nightshades are particularly disturbing. Uh, if you have any tendency to autoimmune disease, one of the most effective things you can do is to not eat them because the nightshade family's lectins are quite potent. And this gets into the whole field of lectin physiology. Do we have any randomized placebo control science about it? Not really. Will we? Well, there are thousands of different lectins, and the nightshade family sort of comprises them. So we're still at the stage of hit or miss. But if you have an autoimmune disease, Avoiding the lectins might be particularly important. And the lectin family, as Stephen Gundry in his elegant book, The Plant Paradox, says, includes wheat and the legumes of the Middle East, uh, A1 milk, black cow milk, and all the New World foods from the New World, like tomatoes and potatoes and green peppers and chilies. What will work for me? I don't seem to have any autoimmune disease going that I know of, but I'm trying to find other flavors and eat more other foods outside that, eating more green vegetables that are green plants and leafy plants, lettuces and spinaches and the, all of that fa other families. If you have an autoimmune disease, try a six month trial. One month isn't long enough. Six month, absolutely pure trial, no lectins. Read Stephen Gundry. The Plant Paradox. This is Dr. John Whitcomb ending News and Nutrition on What's the Deal with Deadly Nightshade?